What's good with y'all boys? It's Mo Bash in the cut. Back with another video, man. Uh, I'm going to be walking home right now throughout this video, but, you know, I like to go for some walks sometimes, man. Especially since the weather is still so good. I'll be liking to get, you know what I'm saying, a couple walks in. You know, soak up some sun, some vitamin D. That shit is important, y'all. Y'all make sure y'all getting y'all vitamins and shit. You feel me? We in the cut, but anyway, y'all. So basically, I wanted to talk about um, how at this point in my life, bro, I can proudly say with my chest, bro, I have zero hoes, man. I got zero hoes, man. Like, man, and, and, and this shit is by choice, by the way. Before y'all niggas want to get smart in the comments and shit, talking about some, ooh, I knew it, bro. No, the fuck you didn't. Stop playing. But anyway. Oh, um, so why did I, why did I even bring this up? Why did I even bring up this topic? Because I noticed, bro, the time that I spent giving to women, bro, has literally done me nothing but fucked me over in my life. How, why do I say that? Because I haven't been with a woman in a long-term relationship. Well, I say probably about like three, four years now. Is that because of the quality of women that I pick? It could be. And, you know, it could also be just the dating pool. The dating pool has been pretty bad um, for the last couple of years, to be honest. And um, instead of just putting myself through more bullshit, I'd rather just stay out the mix. You know what I'm saying? Um, instead of putting my time or my effort into a relationship or into women in general, I just been taking that time and putting it back in myself. It's way better lighting. I don't know why I didn't start the video like this, but I'm putting more time into myself, bro. I'm, I'm really figuring out who I am as a person. I'm figuring out what I like. I'm figuring out who I want to be in the future. You know, certain shit like that, man. Really just, just finding myself, but I feel like if I had like a woman in my life, you know, it would just take away from the leaps and bounds that I'm already making. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like a woman right now would be a distraction to me. Y'all let me know in the comment section below if y'all feel the same way. But I feel like, bro, just nowadays, bro, relationships don't got no substance, bro. It's really just like, it's really just like, you know what I'm saying? Let's just let's just let's just fuck each other over or make each other look bad or some of that nature. Across the street, y'all, like like a, like a hood nigga, like a hooligan. Crossing the street like a hooligan right now, yo. I gotta stop doing this shit. This is some hood nigga shit. But anyway, yo. Um. Yeah, bro, like. Nowadays, it's just like motherfuckers be cheating on each other out the ass. Relationships don't be genuine anymore. I feel like it's, it's more so just for like status, you know, amongst friend groups or whatever. You know, like, oh, I got a man, you don't, or I got a girl and you don't. You know, I don't feel like there's many solid relationships. And by not being actively in one, has allowed me to see this shit way more clear. Like before I thought like, damn, like there, there's a few relationships that I knew about or, you know, people that I was close with that were together. And I would think like, damn, bro, these motherfuckers really in love for real. And then a couple years go by or a couple months go by, or even a couple weeks and motherfuckers end up with two different people. I'm like, how the fuck does that work? That shit don't make no damn sense. It's like, bro, where, where's the love at? It's all lust. People just want to fuck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> People just want to fuck, man. People want to have a sense of security in their life. They want to feel like they can put their emotions on somebody else or they can rely on somebody else for that, for that push, for that energy, you know? But really... Bro, you need to be finding that shit within yourself, bro. 
you need to be able to find the own your own like sauce, bro. And I feel like I'm in the process of doing it. And like whenever I'm ready, yeah, like I'm definitely gonna go back out and, and try it again. You know, I'm gonna definitely be more cautious this time, you know, when it comes to the people, you know, that I choose to engage with because you know, I may have made mistakes in the past, but I don't let those mistakes define me, you know? I just had to realize, bro, I, I just gotta stop fucking with hoes, bro. I just gotta stop talking to women, bro. You know what I'm saying? And when I say stop fucking with hoes, I don't mean that in like a, a degenerative term for women. I'm talking about actual hoes, you know what I'm saying? Like promiscuous women, you know? And that's that's something I had to quit. Because those promiscuous women were coming around me, bringing all their negative energy from their past failed relationships and their traumas and bringing that shit to me and bringing my energy down. And, and you know what I'm saying? It just wasn't good. Like, I come find in God now, bro. I come find in God, bro. I don't, need, I don't have the need to have like a, a promiscuous or a sexual relationship, you know, with, with women because... It's just not needed for me no more, bro. Like, I'm, I'm walking in the street by my fucking self, bro. Like, you know, like, I, I don't care about shit anymore. Like, I can go to the restaurant by myself. I can go to the movies by myself, bro. I can take myself out on dates. I can, you know what I'm saying? I can go ride around in my car and shit with the windows down, top down, all that. You know what I'm saying, bro? And not feel a thing, bro. I wouldn't feel a goddamn thing. I wouldn't even feel insecure. I'd just be like... Even right now, bro, I'm holding the camera. I'm holding the camera, I'm vlogging. This nigga trying to roll me over. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, I think by being by myself more, I'm able to be more comfortable with who I am. And I'm less anxious about the attention that I bring, you know? And I feel like once you start to work on yourself, and once you start to really, 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 really put in that mental work, bro, that physical work that all of the above type of shit that's like that's like when you really reach peak male status bro and you just become eye candy to women bro like you know i walk around in, the, in outdoor malls and shit or just outside in general you know and you know i'll be i'll be i'll be getting a lot of attention you know i be getting a lot of a, a lot of looks from from you know groups of women that be together and shit and I can already tell they're probably wondering like why is this nigga walking around by himself like why is he walking around alone you know what i'm saying like he looks pretty young you know it's just weird for a younger person to you know be in a social space by yourself like it's just like we socially accepted the fact that like you need to have people around you so that people don't look at you like a weirdo you know what i'm saying like why is this motherfucker alone in a social space like that's so weird you know what i'm saying like this nigga must be a weirdo but it's not because I'm just, I'm just vibing, bro. I'm just doing everything that I would be doing with others. I'm just doing it by myself now because I don't know. It's just, it's just more freeing. Like I just, I just feel like way less of a burden, bro. And I feel like because I'm learning myself more and getting more comfortable with that. Like now when I you know, return to being more social or being around more people or getting back into the, the, the dating pool. It's like, I know what I want now and I'm not gonna settle for something that I feel like looks good, but isn't really good. You know what I'm saying? Like I have way less toleration for people in general in this time that I've been, you know, doing my self work because like you know i'm starting to reflect on my on my past relationships and like shit that i used to let slide like how some females you know just like little slick shit that females do like uh you know like accusing you of being unfaithful or like you know just constantly needing validation from you <clears throat> it's draining bro that shit is draining like i'm the type of nigga bro if my female don't come to me healed bro don't come to me at all Straight like that. 
because I'm not here to heal or fix nobody, bro. Because when it was time to heal or fix myself, nigga, nobody came to, nobody came in and healed me or fixed me or validated me or told me I was good enough. Shit, I had to tell myself that shit. I had to believe it too. So it's like when it comes to a female, bro, I can't build up a female because then it goes back to what I was talking about at the beginning where like the self-reliance is it's out the window. You start to rely on me giving you all this constant praise and validation, you know, to like make you feel like you're worth something or you demand that I give you all this praise and validation, but you know, really you just trying to trying to get closer to me to suck me dry you know and i know a lot of y'all can relate hit the like button leave a comment if you can but it just comes a time bro where it's like when everything isn't working out for you it's like just stop doing it for a little while like that just goes for anything in life bro like anything that's just not working for you bro just just chill like Literally just be, just be still. Like, you see these trees right here, bro? These trees been here for fucking, I don't know, probably hundreds of years, to be honest. At least, at least, at least, at least a couple decades. I'll say at least a couple decades. But, you know, these trees, bro, they, they be still as fuck, bro. They don't be doing shit. And you notice, bro, they just let whatever happens to them happen to them. Like, that's how I feel your attitude about life should be, bro. It's just like, let everything that's meant to happen to you, happen to you. And anybody who is not meant for you, bro, just be still, bro. Like, just just let them be, bro. Like, don't force people to choose you. Don't force women to choose you. Don't always try to, like, like put a cap on yourself. Like, yo, I got to approach five women today so I can feel like I get pussy. No, bro. Because that shit is all an illusion, bro. Yeah, women might like you for, for your looks, like your superficial traits. But like, how many women can you count on your hand that genuinely think that you have a, a, a beautiful soul, a beautiful mind? You know what I'm saying? They look past They look past the looks and what you can offer them when it comes to money. And can really appreciate you as a man, bro, for what you offer and what you bring to the world. That's the type of relationships I want right now. You know what I'm saying? I want a, I want a female that's a ride or die, bro. You know, like, I just, like, like I said, I've seen so many couples that I thought, like, bro, these motherfuckers been together since high school, bro. Like, they gotta get married. You know what I'm saying? They, they've been together for, like, damn near six, seven, eight years. Come to find out, bro, like, you know, this one dude I know, his ex, you know, she completely checked out right after she 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 dumped the nigga. You know what I'm saying? She was going on trips to tropical islands and shit, sipping pina coladas, having the time of her life. And then I see her pop out with a whole new nigga. I'm like, it's treacherous out here, man. It's treacherous. It's treacherous. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but bro, like, is, is, is definitely like if you're not dating right now bro if you're not in the dating pool if you're not actively you know looking for somebody bro I feel like you're winning right now bro cause while everybody else is distracted on their bullshit ass relationships you're building the right type of relationships with yourself and with the higher being that you believe in man cause at the end of the day bro that's all you really got, bro. Like, you can fall in love with a woman, bro. And like seven years later, bro, she could just completely lose feelings for you, bro. And just like command a divorce. <laughs> and like, just just like take half of your shit. Like, I'm not saying like all women are bad, bro. Or like all situations are gonna end badly. But I'm just putting that out there. like. Bro, none of this shit is guaranteed 100%, bro. So it's like, 
why would I focus on shit that I'm literally taking a chance every time I'm with you, bro? Like I'm taking a chance on who you are as a, how you portray yourself to me as a person, you know? Like you don't really know who you're dealing with until probably like I said, like six months to a year. So it's like, I'm putting it, I'm investing six months in, in, into somebody that I don't even really know for real. And you know, I might think I know them off the strength of how they act around me, but you know, do I really know this person? Are they putting on the front for me? Like, do they just want me to like the front that they put it on? because they don't want to lose me do they want me for status does this girl think i have money or does she just want to be with me because i'm like eye candy to her friends and like you know i i can like help her make them jealous because like she bagged a good looking nigga like i don't know bro i've been in all those situations so it's like it's like at this point bro like I know what's for me is gonna find me. So it's like, I'm not even tripping. Like, I don't even approach women no more, bro. Literally, bro. I don't even approach women no more. Like, rarely will I approach a girl off off, off the uh, the cold approach, bro. Cause like, I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna just walk up to somebody that I think looks attractive, like on a daily basis or on like a, a consistent basis. Like, there has to be something there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta look at Shorty and she gotta look at me and we gotta lock eyes and smile. Like it gotta be a connection before I even open my mouth to speak to you, bro. Like, that's just where I'm at right now. I just, I'm just looking for genuine connections, bro. Like all this lustful shit. Yeah, it's cool in the moment, bro. But like later on, bro, it honestly just makes you feel dirty, bro. Like participating in hookup culture, bro. That shit honestly just doesn't, like, it don't fulfill you, bro, at all. Like, it's really better to just stack up your cheese, bro. Work on the shit that you need to be working on. Focus on the important relationships, like I said, in your life with the people that care about you. That's really it, bro. You know, the woman that you're looking for, bro, she's going to find you. She's going to find you, bro, because it's crazy how the universe works, that everything comes in perfect timing. So, like, if your life right now, when it comes to money, when it comes to mental health, is not where you want it to be, you're not going to find your wife within this period of time because this is your building season, right? This is your season of stacking. You're building yourself up. You're building your confidence. You're building your, 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 your manlyhood, bro. You're becoming the man that you need to be for her and for your future kids. But you'll never find the right one until you're ready, bro. And once you accept that, then you start to just care less about this shit. Like, all right, bro. I'm not even talking to women, bro. Like, man time, y'all. Like, I, I don't even talk to like a lot of women bro like i have a few girl best friends i talk to well not girl best friends but girlfriends i, I just didn't want to say the actual you know what i'm saying but bro it's just no point in in talking to women bro that they be dry as shit i want me to cater to them like nah bro i can't do it i don't got that much left in, left in me to even do that to be honest, so it's like I'm just gonna make the right decision every time. But anyway, y'all, uh, hope y'all learned something from this. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Press all the links in the description below. Follow me on everything. And yeah, more bash and cut.